Today, the entire Tinview High School community gathers to celebrate the graduating class of 2020. We welcome our graduates, families, and friends who are joining us under these most of unusual circumstances. Our purpose tonight is to honor our students' accomplishments, their remarkable efforts, and dedication over the past four years. Truthfully, today we celebrate the accomplishment of an entire formal schooling experience that started for many of our students when they were five years old. In this production, you will hear messages from peers, teachers, representatives from Provo City School District, and from your principal. Our celebration will display video and images that capture the life at Timview High School. We appreciate the time, the energy that so many have put into the creation of this video. Sit back, enjoy the moment, and know that we all love you. All year long I've been well aware of the responsibility and opportunity I have to speak at graduation. And all year long I've been thinking of what to say. I felt pretty confident that I could write something up that could sum up these amazing last four years of our lives. However, as soon as I sat down to write it, all those corny jokes, stereotypical lines that I had settled on didn't seem to do our years any justice. With my high school career in mind and all the amazing times I had, I looked at the computer screen. I stared at it blankly and thought, there's no way I can do this. As this thought crossed my mind, I thought of all the times I sat at home working on homework assignments late at night or laying in bed staring at the ceiling, remembering that one essay that had slipped my mind or all the assignments and quizzes I had coming up the next day and thinking that same thought, there's no way. I looked back on when I had confided in someone this sense of shortcoming, times where I had sat with my parents, friends, teachers, and all those I care for and trust, and they helped me through. Every time I said or thought, there's no way, someone in my life would say, there is a way, you can do this, and I believe in you. These words of motivation pushed me to see what others saw in me. I just want to say thank you to all of you who have pushed me through the hard times and struggles that I've been through. I specifically want to thank my family and especially my mom for supporting me and for being an example of who I want to be and how I want to live my life. I'm grateful for the opportunity I got this year to see firsthand our school and community band together to raise money for Sub for Santa this year. I had such a great experience being involved with it and being able to see the great things that we accomplished and see all the good that we did in the community for those who needed our help. We all know that high school is hard and unpredictable and that life is hard and unpredictable. I don't know about you, but when I pictured graduation, I didn't exactly see myself giving a speech to a camera and watching it later. I didn't even picture myself giving the speech in the first place. But as the years went on and I grew and matured alongside all of you, I began to see that no one expected to themselves to be where we are right now. I don't just mean in this virtual graduation, I mean in life. I've personally grown to be a better person than I ever thought I could be in these four short years, and I have all of you to thank for that. Over the years, I've gotten to know so many of you fabulous people, and there isn't one of you that hasn't influenced my high school days and helped me become the person I am today. I can't thank you enough. Without you, I, pro I wouldn't have made it here, and I definitely wouldn't have enjoyed the journey as much. It makes me smile when I think of all the classes I had and all the people I sat next to and probably talked to a little too much. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time. I just want to leave you with a congratulations, and I want to let you know that we can make it through this, and we can do hard things. Congratulations, to View Class of 2020. Although it has been a crazy end for our senior year, we nonetheless are graduating. Our four years of cheering on the sports teams, participating in performing arts, and pursuing other activities while creating plenty of high school drama are over. We all have experienced the so-called high school experience. That is, having a mad rush to finish an assignment, worrying who to ask to the next dance, or just sometimes thinking that the school day would never end. But through all the classes, sports, musical programs, competitions, dances, parties, and school events, we have the experiences and talents that will benefit us and others throughout the rest of our lives. One of my personal favorite events from the last four years was celebrating the totality of the moon covering the sun during the solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. Let us ask ourselves what totalities we want to reach by the end of our lives. For many of us, it includes gaining work experience or going to trade school or college to acquire the skills necessary to open up a life full of opportunity, service, and giving back. For several of us, it includes serving our country, world, or church by enrolling in the military, taking a gap year, or serving a religious mission. For most of us, it includes becoming a mother or father or someone deeply involved in our country or world. We all have something to look forward to, an adventure that's just waiting to happen, and totalities to reach. In 25 years, on August 12th, 2045, Provo will be in the path of totality for another eclipse. For all of us, no matter the location, I hope we can look, physically or metaphorically, at the sun the second time and reflect on just how far we have come. 
Now let us also take a moment to thank all of those who have supported us in reaching the totality of graduating from high school. Without our parents, family members, teachers, staff and faculty, Board of Education, and our very own Principal Montero and Superintendent Rattel, we would have nothing to be celebrating this afternoon. If you have not done so yet, make sure to thank those who helped you succeed in getting to this moment. We are now moving forward into the rest of our lives. May we never forget the fun we enjoyed, the challenges we overcame, and the lessons we learned in the last four years at Tipview. Bye, Donny Thunderbirds. Congratulations once again, Tipview High School Class of 2020. Uh, congratulations to the Class of 2020. Um, I wanted to tell you how much admiration I have for you. The fact is, you were dealt in a very interesting hand right around the middle of March with the COVID situation, and it blew up all your plans for graduation. I'm especially appreciative of the fact that you are being very resilient and mature and willing to move on and just accept things the way they are. I commend you for that. I, I look forward to great things ahead for this class as you go into your adult lives. The ability to deal with adversity and challenges and to be resilient in the face of those is a significant, significant skill. And so I commend you for having demonstrated that and good luck to you in the future. There's a crazy paradox at play for you as the graduating class of 2020. On March 13th, the governor of the state of Utah made an unprecedented announcement that schools would be closed for the unforeseen future. The decision was made that Teamview High School would temporarily shut down in order to combat the health crisis that has impacted every aspect of our lives. COVID-19 has become an unfortunate part of our psyche. For you graduating seniors, you have lost more than any other class in the history of Tintview and arguably in the history of American public schooling. Your final year was cut significantly short. You have been asked to learn online instead of learning in the collegial space of a classroom. Your interactions with peers, teachers have been limited to virtual exchanges. For those of you participating in sports, musical productions, theater, and other extracurricular activities that add meaning to the high school experience, you have felt the jolt of having something you love taken away from you. The paradox is that in the process of losing, you have gained perhaps more than anyone else who's walked across a graduation stage. I get that my assertion is a difficult argument to make as you're sitting at home with a certain level of emptiness, but I promise you, you stand to gain. One of the most far-reaching lessons that you are learning is the incredible importance of human connection and engagement. The simple smile, laughter, a meaningful exchange with another human being are much more important than perhaps you ever imagined. You've learned that being vulnerable really sucks. Not knowing is terrifying. Encountering an uncertainty is scary, and yet it will be the best way for you to move forward. Whether a pandemic or some other experience that you were encountering in life, being comfortable in your vulnerability is actually a good thing. Learning to live with uncertainty on one hand and optimism on the other is perhaps the best insight I have gained as an adult. A wise man taught me that wisdom happily lives with mystery, doubt, and unknowing. To know anything fully is always to hold that part of it which is still unknown and to hold it tight. The soul in the heart of a school is you as a student. This is your place. Your laughter, your energy, and your collective goodwill make this environment the most unique in our community. We're not perfect. We're always trying to get better and to reinvent ourselves. Experiencing the past few months with you will hopefully transform Tintview into a better version of ourselves. My hope is that it will do the same for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Members of the school board, superintendent, I present to you the most unique class in the history of Tintview High School. Dr. Montero, the class of 2020, I would like to thank you for this opportunity. I know that the circumstances of this graduation are not great, but at least you get to fast forward through the board member's speech, which was more than I could do when I graduated from Timview 29 years ago. To be honest, I don't remember much of that day. About the only thing I remember is that I was going to go full send and try to kiss a certain sophomore cheerleader. Even though I don't remember my graduation, I loved my four years at Timview. 
So while I feel terrible that you don't get to celebrate graduation together, I feel that you had an incredible experience and that is something that even a global pandemic can't take away. You had fantastic teachers. I remember Rosie McKay, Mr. Myrup, and Ms. Crosland from my time at the school. Not so much for the things that they taught, but for the passion they demonstrated during every class. Exceptional teachers teach us, by their example, to do our best at whatever we do. Your class has been so successful. U.S. News & World Report considers Timview to be one of the top schools in the country. That is because of you. The performing arts have been spectacular. During your four years, you have won far more than your share of state titles or second places in sports like tennis, golf, swimming, soccer, football, and basketball. Your math team even won the national championship. I've also heard that this class has the largest number of true T-Birds in the history of the school. You have accomplished so much. Most importantly, you have made lifelong friends. Not a day goes by where I don't hear from the people I met here at this school. I even married that sophomore cheerleader and our youngest daughter Gwen is graduating with you. So, besides a few times my house has been egged or soggy balled by you, I have seen firsthand how kind and accepting this class is. You are a class of wonderful people. I guess what I am saying is that I am proud of you, I'm excited for you, and I look forward to watching you achieve your goals. So, on behalf of the Provo City School District and the Board of Education, I accept these students as having achieved the requirements of graduation and recommend them for commencement. Congratulations. Hey Tipview, you've been really good to me. Um, as a teenager, I was here to make the decision about what the mascot would be and about what the colors would be. And now that they're starting to tear down the school, I'm retiring. So I grew up here, literally, and grew old here. Um, and there's some things that I learned that I would love to pass on to you. And one of them is to be kind. Um, kindness always wins. Second one is to be grateful. There have always been people along your path helping you along the way, and so acknowledge them and be grateful. Uh, the third is to work hard. There's no substitute. And the fourth is to learn from your failures and your mistakes because that's what progression is. So thank you, Timview. Peace out. Hi. It's such a pressure dealing with you guys again, having had you as sophomores and now anyway. You've changed. Seriously changed. You're going to look back and think, wow, was that a goofy time. I hope you think that it was a goofy time. I hope you grow and continue to grow and make strides and become who you're going to become. Growth mindset. Don't be afraid to fail. Try things. Try new things. Be willing to fail because if you can fail, you can do things that nobody else have been, has been able to do. So first of all, use a growth mindset. Second of all, be free. Freedom is such an essential part of who we are and how happy we can be and how peaceful we can be. Be free. Don't make decisions or choices that lead you down to places where other people control your life. Don't be in debt any more than you have to. Don't try things that will restrict your abilities later. And number three, be successful. Success isn't about risk taking, as many people will try to tell you. It's all about innovating. Be an innovator. Find something you love and do with all your heart, innovate, and become very successful. I would say I believe in you, but you know I've told you differently already, so there you are. Good luck. We are not going back to normality. It's okay to be a little bit sad about this. You had great plans and they were canceled. Sometimes there's nothing anyone can do to fix things. You're not the first graduating class to face uncertainty. Wars, natural disasters, and even pandemics have occurred before. As others have, you may need to change your picture of what real life should look like to a new one. Now it is time to move on. The past is prologue, but it doesn't define the future. You define the future. A key to a successful life is acknowledging the winds of change and finding a new direction. During this time of isolation and social distancing, we have already discovered a few good things home cooking and family mealtimes, more time in nature with cleaner air, less focus on spending and consuming, more focus on creativity and spending time with the people we love. The class of 2020 can lead the world in a new normal where we do new things in new ways using new tools. Find better ways to share resources. Focus on growing gardens of cooperation and unity. Learn to respectfully consider a different opinion. Assume the best in others and seek to understand. Whatever the problem, be part of the solution. This will take great effort, but you are up to it. Listen to your heart. Your heart will know the way. Here comes the class of 2020. 
the world will never be the same again. At the end of all of my adult roles class, at the end of each semester, I give my students something called Mrs. Mason's Keys to Happiness. Number one on that list is make gratitude a habit. Quite simply, be grateful for what you have. Don't dwell on what you don't have. Don't fall for the social media fallacy that everyone else is better looking, has more, does more, and has a better life. As you continue through life, you'll find out that the most important thing to be grateful for are your relationship with others. There's nothing that is more important than relationships. There's nothing that is more important than the unconditional love and support that you'll receive from family and friends. As you go through life, remember that. Tell others you appreciate them, that you're grateful, and that you're thankful for them, and do it often. It is so exciting to be graduating with the class of 2020. It took me 17 years to graduate from middle school, but only 13 years from Tempview, so I think I'm getting smarter. And I think it's because of all the books I've been reading. So my advice to you is to read. Reading um, is good for your brain, and it will help you keep learning. Reading will make you a more informed consumer, and it will give you experience beyond your own. Reading will take you places you've never even dreamed you could go. We read to know that we're not alone. So reading can connect you to other people with similar experiences. Read widely in all kinds of formats. Read print, read on screen, even read the back of the cereal box. Reading will enrich your life. It will make it more interesting and more meaningful. So much to read, so little time, so read fast. Congratulations and good luck. A common theme you may have noticed in our graduation speaker's remarks is the importance of connection and relationships. As you prepare to embark on the next journey in your life, we hope that you take a moment to reflect on all the people who had an impact on you. We are sure that as you reflect back, that you will find that many of our Tempview faculty and staff have influenced you. It is difficult to describe in words the appreciation and gratitude we have for our Tempview faculty and staff. To our teachers, counselors, custodians, cafeteria workers, secretaries, instructional assistants, coaches, and so many more, we thank you for your dedication and commitment to our Tempview students and community. On behalf of our Tempview faculty and staff, we want to say to you, class of 2020, that we love you. But don't just take my word for it.
Congratulations to our amazing graduating class of 2020. On behalf of our Timpview faculty and staff, graduates, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left. And